Hello Donuts, today we are reacting to the most insane Karen freakouts from around the world. Let me know which Karen out of all of these you think is the worst. So did she say you sacrificed my safety? How could somebody sacrifice her safety? That's worse than sacrificing someone's safety. There's something about somebody that wears a backwards cap that really, uh, really is kind of frightening. What kind of confidence do they possess to be able to wear their cap backwards? Say, like, what do you know? Like, do you know how the world ends? You, you sacrifice my. What is she do? Is she defending a tree? What is she like those people in the UK that defend the statues? Which is like mental by the way. Remember when that was a thing? Where like guys would go to a statue to defend it. It's like I don't think I don't think you can help. I think the statue's fine, mate. I don't think you're gonna really do anything there. <laughs> People would be turning up at a statue with a Stella being like they're not taking this one down It's like I, I don't think that you have any impact on this situation mate What is he doing? The guy's like bro any time now can you let go back any time bro can you you've got my hair can you get off, please? Why is that, like, the ultimate... It's frowned upon in a fight, right? To pull someone's hair. But why is it just, like, the, the trump card? If someone's got long hair and you just grab it, like, it's like, a, you, you, it's like, ah, you're, like, you're completely defenseless. It's like, it doesn't matter if you know MMA. It doesn't matter if you know boxing. If someone pulls your hair, you're done. It's like a different type of pain. You're like, ah, that's what they should do in boxing. Or like, ah, oh, I suppose they've got the... In MMA, the, the gloves are smaller, aren't they? I would just pull the guy's hair. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, police! 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 You won't get away! I'm leaving. Sorry, this Karen's kinda iconic. You see the walk she had? Did you see? She was like... That's iconic. She was bouncing with the finger. I wish I had that type of energy. No offense if this is your job, but I just, I, I don't like it when people are knocking on my door. My house is like my safe space. Like, why are you knocking on my door trying to get me to sponsor a polar bear? I don't want to sponsor the polar bear. I'm never going to meet them. How do I know the polar bear's getting the money? I want to see that money hit his Monzo account, right? How do I know that's all going to the polar bear? Get away from my house. Have one of them. There you go. I'm with the Karen on this one. We got staphylococcus from all of this garlic butter. That's not what I said. You can keep your napkin, though. I'll give you your money back. You don't have to record me. I know what I said. I didn't call you and say I got food poisoning. No, it's just you I came in here to. Am I allowed? To can I say? It's all gone, and you've got garlic butter all over it. No wonder you got sick. Oh. So the guy saying that he that he, he got food poisoning off the food. And she's saying it's because he put garlic butter on it. Are you not the one supplying the garlic butter as well? By the way, is the, there's about four different pizzas going on here. Like, why are some slices look like garlic bread? Some just look like margarita. Some look like pepperoni. How many different pizzas has this guy got in one? And why is she fuming that he got the garlic butter on? Is she going to use this again? Is this like a Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy? Where they, like, reuse the pizzas that... Slices that people didn't eat. God, you are disgusting. Put oh. that bloody thing back in the water so if it's why? not dead already. Oh. You vile bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this current came on smoke. Oh my god. She was like, you bitch. Put that fish in the water. You've took it away from its family. Back. You are disgusting. Oh you it's are a, a disgrace. Fishery. I hope that's recorded. Because you are an absolutely it's slavish disgrace. Yes, I think that's exactly what she's trying to do. I don't think she's caught it to keep it alive. I could be wrong, uh, but I just don't think that's the best method to keep the fish breathing, if I'm honest. Are you trying to kill it? Yes, yes I am. It's a fishery, love. This is my job. I do this. I get money off catching fish. It's a, it's, it's, it's been around for quite a while. Oh my fishery. god, yeah, People you! Fishery! An array is a matrix! People go fishery! I don't care what a fishery is! An array is a matrix! Oh and you... Oh, oh, she's mentioning the matrix now. I think she's watched a little bit too much Andy Tate. I'm glad Sorry, who are you? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Who are you? Sorry, you are? Oh, just call please. Okay, call them. Get call out of them. my way! Call them. You're cruel, cruel to that dog. Don't say anything to us. I watched you all the way down there. 
Oh, Trish, oh I'm telling you! Get out of my way! Why you just assaulted? Did you say that? Urgh. Why is this woman so aggressive? By the way, I've got this like new. You know how they say Karen's like, it's like obvious they've got a bob, right? I think like women over the age of 40 that wear a scarf, just saying they've got troubles. You've been cruel to that dog, you poor little thing. What are you going to do about nine, it? 999, nine, nine. come on, please. 999, nine, nine. get have straight onto him. Have you seen what I'm like with this dog? Go and stroke yeah, him. Go and stroke him. Go and stroke him. Have you seen him? He's been cruel to this dog. Yeah, go and stroke I've him. I've seen him. You Wasn't see that dog there? Yeah. I'd like you to go and stroke him. What is your name? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You? Think I'm frightened of you? I am not. I'm frightened. Yes, we're really we're, we're progressing with this argument. Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? Guys, we're really moving forward here. I just want to know what was happening. If he was hurting the animal, then she's not a Karen. Well, well no, no, she's not a Karen. She's standing up for the dog. But I don't know. I don't have the correct context to this. It's so annoying. Oh, there we go. What do you want, Grandma? Oh, is this the current? It's the current diner. Did you see the shock on her face there? She was like, what did she just call me f***ing cry? You saw the, the last Nelly Pro character as well. That's hilarious. Grandma, if you cry, do the toilets because no one gives a sh**. I'm sorry, right? But it must be so good to work there. It must be so good to work at a Karen diner. That must be a dream job. Like, you just get to say exactly what you're feeling. Like, you know, anyone that's worked in hospitality, you know, you've got that, you know, you, you, you've, <laughs> there's just someone being so rude to you and you know that you just want to fucking rip their head off. But you go, oh, yeah, 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 don't worry, I'll get it, don't worry, you fucking yeah. This must be so satisfying. Also, guys, if you haven't already, press the subscribe button because we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. And we're so close. Join the donuts. Are you just leaving? Get off my car. Get off her car. Get off of her car. God, she's just resting a dump truck on the car. What? I hope she's wiped. How? Why would you sit on someone's car like that? Your ass yeah. is grass. Right. Do you understand? Right. And if you... I'm done with it. Did she... No. Wait, do people actually use that in real life? Do people actually say your ass is grass in like real life? I thought that was just like something they take the piss with in movies. Could you imagine saying that to someone when you're angry? Oh, oh, your ass is grass. I feel like that's an automatic win for the other person. Where's your manager? Can I speak to your manager? I asked for extra ketchup. What? What is this? What is this? Oh my god, there was no need for that. There was no need for that. But you know what? I saw the frosted tips and I didn't expect much. Somebody has to clean that up. Like the, the fact you're, you're complaining about extra tomato sauce is is as is a, is a, is a rich to begin with. Just ask for more tomato sauce. Why have you slammed... You've slammed this on the ground. This is unsavable now. There's so many more issues now that we need to raise with, with whatever this is. Is it a burger? You could have just got an extra dollop of tomato sauce on it. You're driving a loud car in a neighborhood where there is an elementary school. I'm allowed to drive here. And I'm allowed to call the police. And tell them what? Are you filming me right now? Yeah. Oh, okay, good, good. Go on, put me on Facebook. Then. Oh, this is so fake. That is so fake. I mean, if you're going to fake a Karen video, at least... At least get, like, like a better actress. I feel like I could have acted this out better. Oh, yeah, put me on social media that, like, c come on, love. How to react when the flight is late. I'm actually in shock that someone would react like that. Imagine your flight to Benidorm gets delayed and you start, you know, like, climbing over the counter and screaming at the per- Christ. This reminds me of that airport freak out videos we did. No, 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 I understand. I'm gonna place you on a brief hold, ma'am. Give me one second. I have the biggest Karen on the phone ever, and I would just like you all to experience <laughs> this with me. <laughs> did you see her facial expressions? She was done with this sh She was like, uh, this is too much for me. I need to expose this woman. Because you missed your appointment yesterday, we sent a reminder text, we sent a reminder email. Um, I actually remember speaking to you a few days ago okay, regarding so your appointment. appointment. We can't get you in today or tomorrow uh, just because you missed your appointment yesterday. But again, like I said, I'd be more than happy to schedule you from two weeks from today. You're not understanding. I don't want to come in two weeks. I want to come in today. Well, love, if you missed your appointment yesterday, you don't call the shots anymore. You miss your appointment. 
You ne you need you have the next available one. They're not just gonna squeeze you in. Oh, don't worry, love. Everyone else that's waited two weeks will just put you forward. This is like a main character TikTok. More than a and a Karen. It's like both of them in one. Because you missed your appointment, we don't have room today, nor do we have room next week. So I'm trying to help you out here and put you in for two weeks, um, and that's the best that I can do for you. No, but I need my car fixed, so you're gonna have to make space for me to come in today. You're gonna have to. I you're gonna have to make space. Yeah, you're gonna have to make space. I cash Kai can't wait two weeks. All right, I need my mummy wagon up and running pronto. Why do people think that like the world revolves around them? It's like it, it, if if you've messed up, that's your fault. Karen trying to take Adam because she Goodbye. can't exchange used clothes. Leave my store. Goodbye. I am not leave my store, ma'am. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not the back. one you want to do this I'm with. Go back now, leave my store. Oh my god. Come on. Leave my store. Stop trying to steal my stuff. Oh my god, what? This is actually terrible. The audacity of old people is actually mental. To be fair, whenever I used to have to replace something, or like, uh, you know, refund it, I'd always ask me that I should do it. Because she just didn't care. She was like, yeah, I'll do it. I feel like embarrassed. Even though if it's like Primark or if it's like, I don't know, like H&M. I know it doesn't affect the person who's working there. I'm still embarrassed to do it and I don't know why. Uh, hello. Um... I, I'm just a bit, little bit concerned because yeah. you're actually filming and you're parked outside the school gate. Yeah, because you've been watching me and I'm here to pick up my child. To be fair, that is actually, that's actually fair from the Karen. Like, don't film it next to the school gates, right? If you're, fil if you're like this at the school gates, yeah, you're kind of just, you're asking for somebody to ask. That's how you get those, those... What are they called where you've got to be a certain amount of meters away from a school at all times kind of charges? Don't film a school, guys. I'm the headmistress and I okay. I don't like to have people loitering around my school. I'm not loitering, I'm here to pick up my kid. I, I'm sorry, I've never even seen you before. Steve Walton is his name. Steve Walton is your kid? Yeah. Steve Walton? That sounds like a 50-year-old bloke. That doesn't sound like a kid. I'm not buying it. I'm going to be like, Steve Walton? I don't know a Steve Walton. What is... See the electrician here? He can't be a child. I feel like this isn't a Karen. I feel like she's well within her rights here. What do you think? I'm sorry, but this is my school, my children, yeah. under my protection. Okay, well, my so, child is under my protection. But your I child is not child. here. Yeah, but See, I would want my uh, kid's head teacher to react like this. Like, she's being overly cautious, but that's good. Because this guy could genuinely just be anybody. Like, how do we know? Like, there's it, if he shows our proof, fair enough, but... If somebody could just come and pick your kid up and like you want a teacher like this who's going to be questioning them especially if they're filming that's weird what you're do you really think you can walk out of jail my top you're like you're in the gym can you not at least put a sweater on why have you got your f boobs out man why are you showing skin in the gym? Urgh. Like, can people not just wear what they want? If she wants to wear that, if she feels comfortable wearing that, it's not affecting you in any way. That's only just an insecurity that you might not feel confident enough to wear a top like that. This is not affecting you in any way, my friend. I'm fine, thank you. Well, I don't think you are. Okay, bye. Whatever, put a shirt on next time. Uh, that's actually grim. Has anyone ever said this to you? Like, if, if, if you go to the gym, has anyone ever said something like this to you? Because I feel like that's, like, really odd. Like, why do you care what other people are wearing? That's, like, so strange. I've never once looked at someone in the gym and thought, oh, why are they wearing that? Like, what? it's just what they wear. It's just, it's how they feel comfortable. That's a chicken. No, you're not allowed to eat meat. What are you talking about? Is that for the you're environment? I'm going to shock you. I'm going to take it from you. No, you're not. I'm going to hey, take stop, it for you. Stop. Are you filming me? Yeah, I am. Stop. Hey. Go to hell. Okay, can I just have my card back, please? No, not if you're buying meat, you anti-vegan moron. Okay, see, <laughs> this is why I just think these ones are fake, because why would somebody go into a supermarket and then get raging when someone just picks up chicken that's on the shelf? Like, fair enough if she killed, if he killed the chicken in front of her, Fair enough. But this is why I just think these ones are fake, because surely somebody in their right mind can't be react like this. I will not have it. You understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to. And it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released... Turn around. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that guy got fed up. He was like, yeah, I'm just sick of this. Like, I'm, I'm sick of this. You can, you can tell Jesus... 
about what happened today. But I'm not here anymore. You're going in the back of the car, love. That was f***ing scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw up. Look at my lips. Why would they be red like that? Anyway, there was a hurricane force winds, but luckily my house doesn't. This is a Karen that I actually love. She's called Karen, but she's like a Karen with good vibes. Guys, I think we found the first ever Karen with vibes that are immaculate. This Karen is amazing. She gives great vibes. I want to see more of this Karen. Hi there, everyone. Out and about running errands, and it's a lovely day. No rain expected. Hope all's well. Just wanted to say hello. Take care. Oh my now. God. Bye. She's so nice. Guys, there is nice Karens out there. I didn't think it was possible, but Karen Houseman, respect to you, love, honestly. I hope you get a free bag of PG Tips tea bags in the morning. That's it, love, just this massive space here, but you're just still clocking on down the road, aren't you? Move! 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 All right, Jesus Christ. Oh, she's too back. Why don't you move? I'm sorry, but that's such a powerful stunt. <laughs> that's like a horror movie. Why is she like? I'm sorry, I'm reversing. If she turns on like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's using them like lightsabers. I've got you on camera. You are a Go on. I've got you on camera. You tried to run I have not tried to run you over. You stop hitting my car. Look what you. I'm what? calling the police on you, you what? horrible what? Go on! I'll tell her how, how you For f what? You walk down here, I'm trying to get past, there's loads of space for you to walk there, you just f***ing smack my car! I couldn't care f less! You f***ing Move out the f***ing way! Well, you've just well. assaulted me, you no, I'm you calling the police! To be fair, uh, you did say a lot of insults to her first. Um, <laughs> I don't think you've got a leg to stand on with the insults cupboard. Yeah, she was standing in the middle of the road and she probably could have moved, you're right. But I feel like you could have approached the situation a little bit better than calling her a and calling her all those words you called her. But for her to hit the <laughs> And old people are just mental, like, for her just to get a crutch and just go and get out. Anyway, guys, if you would like to see me react to some more Karens, click right here or watch a brand new video from me right here. Cam Kirkham, baby.